been a year, over a year, since I did one of these videos. And I wasn't really planning on doing it today, but why not? So today I'm taking you guys to work with me and we're gonna do like a day in the life of a naturalist during the coronavirus quarantine. So day in the life of an essential naturalist. I'll work on the title. But basically, I still go to work. I pretty much work every day, actually. I work more now than I did before Corona hit. Um, I do go in on all the feeding days and I feed the animals, but I also take care of all of our daily videos. So I'm always filming and editing and posting every single day. This is why I haven't posted a whole lot on here like I normally do because I'm just so burnt out from editing daily videos for the Nature Center that I just, by the time I'm done that, I don't feel like editing one for my own channel. Um, but yeah, so I figured, why not take you guys to work with me today? I am the only one here. Usually I'm, two out of three of my days, I'm the only one here. Um, so I'm the only one here today. So I think I'll take you guys with me. So it is just after 10 o'clock, we're just getting here. Basically, I feed the animals, make sure everyone looks good, give them fresh water. Um, if there's anything else I need to do, like clean a tank or something, I'll do it. And then as long as I'm done before 2 o'clock, I'll go home and then I'll come back at 5 o'clock to close up. Because we have to refill our tanks. We can't let them sit for a really, really long time because if we leave the auto refill on, they'll overflow and flood the place. So we have to periodically turn them on, let the tanks fill up, and then close it. So. I have to come back and do that at 5 o'clock because it's just after 10 so I'll be done. I feed animals in under like an hour now. This whole process has made me very efficient at feeding animals. It used to take me two hours but I've gotten so used to just coming in, banging out all the food and just boom, 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 done. <laughs> so I can do it all in under, or not under, but in an hour now. So I'm pretty efficient. So yeah, let's get to it. So if you guys missed my video unboxing this bag from Caroline Hill, also another one. Um, I got two bags. You need to go watch that video. It was one of my last ones. I'm obsessed with this bag and I use it for work even though I'm just coming to get covered in fish water and everything. It's a really nice bag. But um, yeah, I really like the bag and I wanna use it. So I use it for work now. All right, so we've got my desk and we've got, yay, we've got mail. It looks like it must be another, um, Pen pal letter. We've been getting pen pal letters from kids in the area. They can send us their nature questions and everything, and we write back to them. So it's been a while, like a week or two since we've gotten one. So yeah, you've got another one. Let's open it. Also, do you guys like my tank top? It's one of my Arm the Animal ones. Link in the description to save money on their site. Part of the profits go to helping animals. Highly recommend. Let's see. What does the wild turkey tree What what does the wild turkey is the honey out tree for the I'm not really sure. I'm not really I, I don't I don't know. But here we've got mom's question. There's something I heard about wild edibles in our area. There is one we found with a fern-like top. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it has an edible root and it's quite green fern-like tops. All right, so I'm gonna leave this for another employee. I answer all the herb letters, or the really easy ones to answer, like about our animals. Any plants or anything else, that's not me. I leave that for someone else. Okay, so now that I'm not distracted, come in, turn on lights for our little rehab buddies. Munchkin. Hi. HD and Jedi. And then we actually pulled Jedi out. We put him in here, dry off overnight because he's got some shell issues. But every morning we come in, we grab him. Hi, buddy. And we take him to the pond where Geo is already basking. Too, even though it's only like 10.30. You gotta check the candy drawer. Bonus points if there's Kit Kats, because they're my favorite, and have a little snack. So now we're going to the back to fill the tanks. 
I'm not gonna take you guys with me because it is really noisy back there, so you'll be able to hear me anyway because of all the filtration systems and everything. But I gotta turn on the lights back here, and I'm gonna have to turn on the lights for the sturgeon tank and then fill the tanks. Good morning. How are you? Little nuggets. Fish food. And for turtles today. We'll make it easy. We'll give them some turtle gel today. It's really good for them. So now we just let it all thaw out. So while that food's all thawing, I'm gonna go ahead and feed our frogs and our red Fs and our mealworms and crickets. Fruit flies, I do breed these here at the nature center so we don't have to order them. So I actually think I need to be making more probably next week. I don't think I have to do it this week or maybe this week. I think Wednesday I make another one. I don't know. Happy fruit flies. These guys are my favorite. They're so cute. I'm back here. I also have to feed our springtails because we do sometimes give those to the Fs. And I actually want to start trying to make our sub bioactive. So very important that we keep that going. So you guys know I don't use crickets at home anymore. I bring dubia roaches. And the only reason I did that is because I really hate crickets. So it kills me to have to deal with crickets here, but we don't have to deal with them at home. All right. So feeding the frog. So I feed our gray tree frog. The wood frogs are buried, so they find their food on their own. But him and tongue feed. And he is my favorite to feed because he's quite the character. Yep, quite the character. So I tongue feed the tree frog because if I didn't, the wood frogs would eat all of them, he wouldn't get any. Oh, are you running away and hiding? So in this tank, he's stirring up dirt. Um, we've got this naturalistic planted tank with all the stuff from the outdoors. And back there, we've got Legs. And Legs is a six-legged bullfrog. I forget the science behind it. It was explained to me. Something about parasites, I think. But yeah, so he eats fine, he lives fine, he gets around fine, he swims fine, he just has a couple extra legs coming out the back end. But for him, I just leave some crickets on his floating platform and he comes and gets them. Nope. Alexa, play country. Got it. Here's a station you might like. Top country on Amazon Music. For feeding, I always start with the pond. So we're gonna start with the fish. So I like to get them over here away from the turtles because they'll steal the turtles' food. It makes it really difficult to feed the turtles. But I've got lots of different commercial food, pellets, um, frozen food. Oh God, that happens all the time. So we've got some krill, some floating pellets, some sinking pellets, a whole bunch of stuff. And that didn't really thaw out, but hey, it's like a Ice treat. I like making them ice treats. It's basically an ice treat. I'll figure it out. Oh, good. The bofin got some. The bofin really likes to eat shrimp. And they ate all the shrimp. And they won't eat anything else that I give them. No matter what I try. But yay, he got some krill. We're going to feed the turtles. And Jedi, are you struggling? What What are you doing? Are you, are you having a hard time? Are you struggling? What, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Let me assist because you are something else. Did our wood move? Okay. He's asking Zoe, there's three cups, there's two turtles. There is a third turtle in here somewhere. 
His name is Stinky. He is a stink pot. He'll eventually come up and join us. Alright, Jedi. Ooh, it's too pieces. Here, Jeds. Oh, I saved it. See, the fish are ready. They are right there, ready to steal it. Here, Jedi. So Geo is very difficult to feed. I have to try to get him somewhere the fish can't reach him because he's so tiny the fish will steal his food. She knows. I try to get him up here in this planter because it's nice and shallow so he can go up but the fish can't really. And then he would just stay there and eat. The fish couldn't get him but he likes to take his food and run. So the fish will still steal it from him. There we go. Hello, are you ready for another one? Let's... And Jedi is target trained. Um, I usually will do that with him, but since I'm recording today, I can't target train and record at the same time. Um, if I can find the footage, I'll put some footage in from when I recorded it for one of the Nature Center videos. Because I set up a tripod. So if I can find that footage, I'll include it. So you guys can see. You, you, there you go. Oh no, I dropped it! Sorry, did I? So we figured this out with our turtles. I don't know if any of you have turtles that you can't get to eat a salad. Some of our turtles do, and by some I mean like two. So I don't know if any of you have turtles and have issues with getting them to eat their salads. But we discovered the other day that our turtles go nuts for big old leaves of green. When we chop it up, they have no interest. The minute we give them a whole thing like that, they're all over it. So maybe try that if you're a turtle that doesn't want to eat their salad. Just give them a whole leafy green and watch them go to town. So this turtle right here, I have never met a turtle more excited about being a turtle. He's literally like, he's something else. And then of course we've got my boy and the king of the nature center. Hi Donut. Hi Nugget. My little baby. Cutie pie. Oh no, I dropped it. I left all this turtle gel out for too long. Now it's all smushy and falling apart. Here, you want some green? And we have the biggest jerk of all time. The only turtle that has ever bitten me. And it really hurt. Not his fault though. He was raised as a snapping turtle. Picked up off the side of the road. Brought home. Kept his homeless pet. And we all know. To anyone that doesn't know reptiles. Every turtle is a snapping turtle. Isn't that right Leonard, huh? Isn't that right? So he always got treats and rewarded and laughs. For biting. So now he does it for fun he thinks it's good. See, the box turtle is another one that we found out will eat his greens if you give him a whole green. So, everyone that's worked here has been here a while, especially two of them have been here for years, and they can't remember the last time Boxy ate a green. The other day, we gave him like a full leaf of green, and he ate the whole thing. It was crazy. So we put it right where we put the other one that he ate, and let him find it and go to town. Boxy here is also the oldest resident. I think he's about 30 years old. He's an old dude. 
the side note, I just took a little sit down break, a little snacky snack, and it was on TikTok. And it kind of pains me to say that, because I'm not really a TikTok person, but I use TikTok now, and it does pass the time, but I still don't know how I feel about it. But um, there's a guy, I see this all the time, found a baby squirrel and took it home and babied it and cuddled it. And if you are not a professional wildlife rehabilitator, you're not licensed and you didn't go through training and do all that studying and take the course and take the test and get your license, please do not, I'm not peeing, I swear, I'm filling water dishes. But anyway, if you are not a licensed professional, please do not rehab an animal on your own. If you don't have rehabbers near you, you seek advice from a professional rehabilitator to make sure that if you are attempting to rehab, that it is one, legal, and two, you're doing it correctly. Many rehabbers are more than happy to help you and give you advice if there's no one else near you. Please do not attempt to do it on your own if you have local rehabilitators who are licensed and trained because they are trained to care and handle for these animals so that they can be released back out into the wild. If you baby them, just, just don't baby them, just don't. It's my biggest pet peeve. If there's wild animals and you're not trained, do not rehab them. Well, let the eels out. Lena, how are ya? All right, so my phone died, but really all I did was finish giving animals fresh water, fed the office crayfish, and yeah. So I'm going home for lunch, and then I'll eventually be back to close up the building. So yeah, I didn't record. Obviously I like feeding all the turtles because that would have made my day like hours longer. And I think I did that in the last one a year ago but we have all the same animals so if you want to see the one I did last year of this video then I will link it in the description you guys can see a day in the life of a naturalist a year ago over a year ago <laughs> so it's like five o'clock ish just after five so I'm back to close up so basically all I do is make sure all the aquariums are still running I shut off the Turtle lights in the office I have to manually turn on. I have to shut off the sturgeon tank, which is what we're doing right now. So I shut off these lights and refill this tank like I explained this morning. Make sure everyone looks a-okay, and then we're done. I'm having lunch short, but I really have to, I have to use my other hand. Stand on my tippy toes. And I never signed off on my chart. I did make this chart to keep us all in check. So Saturday, we feed. Initial. Actually, since it's Saturday, I just go ahead and redo the board for the week. I'm not in on Sundays currently. So I just erase all the initials and all the marks. And this is kind of what I'm in charge of so that everyone else can just initial. They don't have to worry about erasing anything. It's already done. All they have to do is initial if they do something on the board. <laughs> Hi, did you wake up? You think I have something for you? <laughs> I was just checking on you. Are you sleepy? You were sleeping. <laughs> Now we gotta make sure everyone else is all set for the night and looking good. And the diva. Good night. And my dough boy, who always puts himself to bed. Hi, dough boy. Hi. Water. No, it's bedtime, Leonard. And Boxy has not moved. All right, everyone's looking good. 
What? What are you doing? Are you stuck? You were basking and sleeping when I came in. You got a second wind? Huh? What are you doing? You're so cute. Real quick before I leave, I love checking our bird feeders. There's always fun things going on back here. Right now we've got this little squirrel hanging out in one of the bird feeders. They just crack me up. And of course he's got his friend down here. But it always cracks me up when they're in the bird feeders. And that is my day in the life of an essential naturalist. So I know it wasn't that exciting. I didn't do any tank cleanings or anything today. It was just feeding the animals and I didn't even really show you all that. But you guys kind of get the idea of what I do when we're closed. When we're open, it's obviously a lot busier. I'm feeding and cleaning closures, but I'm also interacting with the public and doing programs and working the front desk and all this other stuff. So obviously it's a lot more going on when we're actually open. But while we're closed, this is pretty much what I do. I come in, I feed the animals, I make sure everything looks good, and I go home. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to continue on this lovely journey with me and to see all my animals. And we'll see you for the next video.